Hi guys, this is Dr. Shweta Patel, also known as ob Kenobi, and I wanted to say thank you so much for tuning into my first video blog. Today I wanted to talk to you about something called continuous use of birth control pills, or in other words, foregoing your fake period. So let's start with what a real period is. Every month your ovary ovulates, and in anticipation of this glorious moment, your uterus primps out the pad and has a big party. If no one shows up to the party, then you pretty much need to break down shop and take down the decorations. And that's basically what your menstrual cycle is, your uterus's way of cleaning house. So what happens when you're on birth control? Well, you don't ovulate. They prevent you from ovulation and that's how they prevent conception. As a result, you don't need to actually bring in the maid service at the end of the month. So why are the pills even there? And yes, that's my dog in the background. Say hi, Mimi. Having fake pills at the end of the pack made the rest of the pills a little bit easier to swallow. In other words, it was a little bit more socially acceptable to be on birth control when you were still having what seemed to be a natural menstrual cycle. Somewhere along the line, people started to think they actually needed to have those sugar pills at the end of the month and actually needed to have a withdrawal bleed. And if they didn't, that perhaps something really bad would happen. What are the cons of having a fake menstrual cycle? The period. A lot of women use birth control for reasons other than prevention of pregnancy. For instance, if you're on birth control pills for menstrual migraines, for really painful periods, acne, excessive hair growth, premenstrual mood dysmorphic disorder. These are all conditions that are actively being treated by the pills that have hormones in them. It really does not make sense for you to actually take a break in the treatment of those conditions. What are the pros of having the fake period? A lot of women find it reassuring to know that at the end of the month, they have a withdrawal bleed, which means that they're not pregnant. So to recap, natural menstrual cycles, important. They should probably happen at least four to six times a year, and ideally once a month. When you're on birth control, you don't actually need to have a period. It's fake. It doesn't have to happen. It has no medical indication. It actually serves no purpose other than perhaps sustaining the tampon industry. And that's okay. If that's what you want, then that's your prerogative and girlfriend, you do you. But the reality is there is no actual purpose to having a withdrawal bleed at the end of the pack. It's just there. Um, thank you so much for tuning in and I hope to see you again. And as always, be happy and be healthy.